Moving along to the front here, this flash hider is plastic. It's completely removable by this clip. You have to push the clip down, pull it out, and it comes off. That then leaves a very small muzzle on this G3. Now what you can do with this muzzle is take this front piece off, it just unscrews, and this shares the silencer that I use on my G33 is, is to make sure that silencer goes on the thread straight because if you um, put it on crooked you'll just damage the threads. So now it's a little bit longer, just I think it looks a bit better. G3 SAS. Here's the flash hider. This is the little clip that you push down and out that will allow you to take it off. And this is the standard muzzle. Now this little piece on the front of the muzzle can actually unscrew. And that leaves a thread on here that you can attach a silencer to or um, a Tokyo Maru tracing unit. Something to note on this is the thread is anti-clockwise. You can also fit a Tokyo Maru tracer unit onto the end of this and this is where you'll see when I do my MP5 video that this particular type of torch is really useful because the Tokyo Maru tracer unit is like a small silencer it's quite fat and what you can do with this torch is just move the head out to give enough space to put the silencer or the tracer unit in and then you can close the head down if you like it next to the the body and lock it in place. The battery is a uh, mini type 7 cell again and it sits in this front cheek area uses this lever here you push it up and slide the whole front cheek off. This is the button that you need to just flip up you have to remove the flash hider, you can leave this piece on but remove the flash hider, flip this button up and slide the whole front off. And it'll come away, leaving the battery connector available there, you just plug your battery on there and then clip it all back together. And that leaves the connector for the battery. So what you do is put the battery in this part, connect the two together and they just click in. Now you have to have this removed before you do that otherwise this front part won't come away. The lever can be locked back, back and up. That pulls back the injection port cover and would you believe it there's a hop up in there. Um, the hop up is a long hop up. It's still a wheel and you can adjust it with your fingers quite easily and you even get your thumb in there, there's enough space. Very short bolt movement, back and up to lock it in place, back and then you can release it. Here's the injection port cover, by pulling the bolt back and locking it in place you can get access to the hop up in here and adjust it as necessary and then release the bolt.
So there it is, the Tokyo Marui G3 SAS. Thanks for watching.